Major Slack Videos. All right, and once again, um, oh yeah, we're gonna get into a little fight here. <laughs> This guy, this crab, this is a force to be reckoned with. This little freaking crab. I want his ingredients and the XP for healing him. All right, let's unchain these two guys. Let's put Sabil over here. Does everybody have a crossbow? You have a crossbow? You have a crossbow? All right, all is right with the world. To pick a fight with this guy, we're gonna have to force attack him. The best way to force attack him is use um, Red Prince who has the fossil strike ability because that's kind of an area attack and it's hard to miss and you're gonna have to hit him twice <laughs> I just missed <laughs> like I said he's always bopping around so could try forcing attack him like that but seriously once it's f once it's game on this guy this little Freaking bugger is a force to be reckoned with. Don't take him lightly. This should start the fight. Okay, the fight's on. First thing it does is teleport someone somewhere. <laughs> is he? And he always does that. He bunches you up. So that now, any day. He's really smart. Bunches you up. So now, if Dragon Prince or Red Prince wants to use his Dragon Breath attack, he always ends up cooking Sibyl up. So he kind of takes that away from you. All right, so Dragon Prince's first um, fossil strike is timed out. He has physical armor, so pin down is not going to work. He's going to have to attack him with the bow, or no, we'll save Dragon Breath for later on when he builds out of the way. All right, so he's just going to have to attack him. There goes his physical armor, but we don't have enough action points to do pin downs. We're just gonna have to tag him again. Now, Sabil's turn. Flesh sacrifice. And I'm just gonna have to do a straight attack on him again. Now he has only has nine health left. This does not mean anything. I've seen him kill me in this situation. He has nine health left and the outcome of the fight was we both died and it was game over. So like I said, don't underestimate this little bugger. That's what he usually does. Fortify. This is normal. <laughs> Alright, so He's got some armor, but I think, uh, yeah, Red Prince should be able to finish him off. Let's cook him up with some Dragon Breath, and there we go. Uh -huh. All right, so we won. Everybody rest up, get your health back. You good, Sibyl? You good, Red Prince? Very good. Chain together. And let's go get our goodies. Crab's Claw, this is a pretty meager haul. At least you usually get some crab, cra both two crab claws and an essence. All right. The game's fun punishing me for having no moral compass, for killing a poor innocent crab. All right. Here is where the crocodiles are. Like I said, you can just, you can get 300 XP just for like getting near this area. So go into sneak mode, creep forward, a little more, don't want to get into a fight, there we go, 300 XP, that's that. Alright, let's fast travel back to Fort Joy Square and continue from there. Take your camera south, looking for the sandy beach here. Send you guys down to right about here. Now I hope you've been following this walkthrough because you need one guy with a pet pal talent. So 
Um, I always separate these two. I'm not sure what happened to the black cat. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay, so the black cat is now currently attached to Sabil. You won't be able to talk to Buddy the dog if the cat is around. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So you have to separate them and then send Red Prince down alone. Because, you know, dogs and cats don't get along. This is really important. This will earn you a lot of XP later on, so make sure you do this. The old dog looks up at you, but doesn't lift his graying head from his paws. He heaves a heavy sigh. All right, the dialogue options are the first one four times. So let's ask the dog his I'm, name. I'm Buddy. All right, Buddy. What's your What's the matter? It's, it's That's no number two. Use anyway. Tell him. I mean, <laughs> try. Tell him to try it. Here we go. Here we go. You're, you're number nice. three. Emmy would have. Emmy would have loved you. Okay, and once you see the option about Emmy, ask him: um, Is Emmy the reason that you're so blue? She was my mate for the last seven. Carry the two plus fifty. Five years. The magistrate. Your math is terrible. They took her. All right, and once you see the option for scratch behind the preacher's ear, choose that one. Mm, I love you. And hey, let me show continue. you something. And he shows you Buddy's key. Like I said, this is really important. Though. This will earn you a lot of XP. Ooh, so make nice. sure you grab that. Mm. Very good. All right, so that's that. Hopefully, you've got some wine or some beer. Any kind of alcohol. What you think can mess with the Here's his goal. Okay, let's bring Sabil down here. Hook these guys up together again. And your party member that has persuasion, any kind of bonus to persuasion which is in this case Red Prince because he has the spell song special talent the Red Prince or the Lizard the Lizard special talent spell song which gives one point extra to persuasion so take him and talk to Dr. List frightfully busy at the moment love haven't got any liquor on hand have you this fella could and use a little comfort and that's exactly the option you're looking for when she asks you for some booze, give it to her. Pull a flask from your bag. This could be anything. Any wine, beer, anything that you have on board. Give it to her. Hey, look at that. Just what I ordered. Ain't you a peach, love? An old dear and old dear thank you too if he could. And she's a bit of a lush. She looks, she took, instead of one beer, she took three bottles of beer from us. That's okay. Uh, what happened to that oh, guy? A fella over there crossed one of Griff's card sharks and got a club to the skull. Don't to be sure, but I'd like to ease his way out. Okay, <laughs> and that's that. Earned 250 XP for doing that. Next, let's go talk to Migo. Everything in here is marked as stolen, so unless you have a suicidal tendency, leave that stuff alone for now. Let's go, let's go down this way. Now, remember that yarrow flower that we picked up earlier? This is where it comes is into play. Thing? Eating corpses. There is Migo. Let's go talk to him. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Hmm? Hmm? Quickly now, for I haven't much time. All right, now, as long as you have a yarrow flower on you, you'll get this option here. Every other option will result in you having to fight this guy. So I hope you got a arrow flower. 
and give it to the him. The creature gingerly takes the plant into his bloodied hands. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Darling, dear. Dear, darling child. Hello, Yarrow girl. Can it really be you? And what? Ask him why he was looking for that flower. Why are you looking for that flower? The <laughs> Sorry. The plant tightly. His breath quickens. He seems liable to lunge at you at the drop of a pin. Some of these dialogues, I'm like, like after it's like past the critical point, which I know. Um, some of these dialogues I'm reading for the first time because usually I just I fast track them all when I'm practicing. I just go up, 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 I don't even bother reading that. I know like you have to do this, you have to do that, and then you fast track all the rest. That's why you see me stopping and actually reading some of these dialogues for the first time. I'm not big on story in video games. Everyone knows that. Uh, but I do like to, you know, show a little bit of the story for you guys. So you wouldn't understand. A father's pride. A father's love. The creature begins to weep. Fast, silent tears spill from his eyes as he clutches the little cluster of flowers to his heart. For you, my ring, part of me, name of Migo. Thank you. All right, and he gives you, it's pretty good too. He gives you Migo's ring. Go to your um, <laughs> equipment. It's been too long, my dear. This guy really makes me nervous. All right, he gives you this thing here. Anybody can equip this. So just put it in your ring slot, and you automatically get the restoration skill added. It doesn't even take up a memory slot, so you can just drag this into your um, your list of spells there, and now you can use restoration for free. Now, you have two choices. Actually, you have three choices. Let's just start about sort of two basic choices. You can keep the ring and just call it a day, and just leave this quest un finished or you can take this ring back to Magister Yarrow and I believe this is her son and then um, you have to give the ring back to her and then she follows she comes down and talks to this guy and do they have like a re reunion of sorts <laughs> then you talk to Magister Yarrow and she gives you a, re a reward and you earn a lot of XP for that I think there's 600 initially and um, how much XP is it? I think it's 600 altogether. And you get like some pretty good loot as a reward. <laughs> then, if you have good thievery skills, which I'm going to invest in later on, you can actually steal Meagle's ring back from Magister Yero. And also, Meagle has this pretty good armor called Meagle's Breastplate. It's actually excellent. I'll show you about that later. I'm just telling you, just so that, like the Mr. Spotters don't go. It's like, you know, you can do this, you know, you can do that. So I'm going to do that because um, I know I can get Meagle's ring back. So um, let's fast travel back to Fort Choice Square. Spin on around so the north is up. And we're going up this way. And you remember that platform that we used to bypass Magus Teratusa? Here's the ladder that we took up. And here's the ladder that we took back down. Magus Teriero is on this platform here. So that's where we're going. Okay, up the, there's Magic Three Arrow right there. Where is he? I always have Red Prince talk to Red. I don't. I don't think it makes any difference. You don't need uh, persuasion skills. All you need is Meagle's ring. So who has the ring? It's Sibyl. Stay still. Let me click on there. Here we go. Elf, I'm looking for an inmate. A smallish man, thick spectacles, prone to somewhat eccentric chatter. He wears a large bronze pendant with a dragon stamped into it. Have you seen him? Uh, yes, we met this like this complete lunatic on the beach. I, I think we may have seen him. You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? Well, before I tell you where he was, yeah, I have to warn you, he's kind of gone a little off his rocker. You're, you're very sure it was him? Now here, you could try some of these other options, but none of them work. The only thing that works is giving her the ring. So, like I said, give she it to her. I'm going to get it back anyways. Closely. 
and you have earned the hero tag specific hero options will be available to you from now on this can't be you said he was upon the beach yes I need to have a look myself this this simply can't be all right now normally if I was like if I wasn't spending if I was spending points I would have had a lot of points in thievery by now I would have just stolen the ring right back right away but we're not spending any of our points. We're going to have to steal it back later when I put points into theory. So let's just go back down to Migo's little beach area here. And we're going to hook up with Magister Yero and finish off this quest and get some uh, XP. And some good loot. Cardio here. Work it, people. Work it. All right, here we go. Magister Yero and Migo. Let's talk to Magister Yero. Is that? Is that really you? Oh, it's her father. Sorry, not her son. Her father. I knew they were related somehow. Okay. Little Yarrow girl, grown up, flower-headed girl. What have they done? Alright, um, that beast is your father? Beast? Watch your mouth, inmate. You're in the presence of an honorable man. Alright, alright. So, um, whoever did this should be brought to justice, ha! right? I'd die a thousand deaths before I'd see this go unpunished. There you go. Okay, she's back in good graces. So, well, I'm glad you could find each other again, even under these circumstances. She looks at her father and manages a small smile. As am I. And that's about it. So if you want your reward, just try to well, take your leave. Before you go, you've helped us a great deal today. Let me help you too. Take this key. I'll show you where you can use it. It opens a door leading into the fort that may help you get out of this wretched place. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. She also gives you the Magister's key. It isn't too late for you. Not yet. And you also get some loot. Your choice of loot. This is typical. You get this stuff for sure, and you get your one a choice of one of these items up here. Darling? Yarrow girl? A level three crossbow. It was her, wasn't it? The monster. Don't think of the ugly now. Here I am. Here you are. Here we are. When I'm looking at armor, what I usually do is add the physical and magical armor numbers what together to get a kind of like total armor coefficient, if you will, or something like that. And then I go, okay. Unless I'm specifically looking for more magic armor or more physical armor. So these two are pretty much identical except opposite. Um, this is a pretty good crossbow. Uh, although, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this guy. Okay, so we accept. Let's look at the it combat log, see how much it? XP we earned for that. The monster. Don't see here we go, 600 XP. Here I am, here you are. Here we are. Plus some loot, plus the Magister's key, and I'll show you how to use that later on. And plus, <laughs> we're gonna come back. I know we have no moral compass whatsoever. I'm gonna come back and whack these two. Like I said, get Meagle's, Meagle's ring and his breastplate. In fact, later on, I am going to wipe out every single Magister in Fort Joy. Every single one, once we get our build happening. And I'll show you how to do that in fine style. All right, so now, if you recall, Elodie was gonna lead us to a secret place this is that secret place. Let's go there now. Oh, a little reprieve from the din outside. And I'm just going to do a quick save because this has gone past the one hour mark and if anything happens the game crashes then I'm going to lose all this progress. 
First thing you want to do when you go in here is uh, play hide and seek with the kids. Actually, no, the first thing we want to do is talk to this guy and sell off our wares because he's got a lot of money. So um, let's just make sure that everything is like set to wares, everything that we don't want. I don't want this. Keep that. It's always good to have two knives. One for combat and one for crafting. This guy I don't really want. Keep all that, although I've never been even sure, exactly sure what you use the on onions for, but I keep them anyways just in case. And of course keep all that. Usually it's the weapons and armor that you sell. Actually, let's just stay with the Red Prince because he's the one that's going to use that and the wares. Okay, so that's it. Let's talk to this guy. State your business. Ask if we may rock, walk Certainly. freely here. You may not be a lizard, but your kind are hardly so bad as the humans. If it's All trade right. you're looking for, I've made a habit of procuring items that can prove rather useful inside these walls. All right, let's take a little look see. Boom, and he's got enough money to take all our wares. Here is the offer all wares button, and we got 300 bucks worth of wares. This will lighten the load, and there's 300 bucks. Click on this button right here, add gold to match the balance offers. Boom, we take 300 of his gold. Click accept to complete the um, transaction, and we are 300 gold richer. And I don't want to buy anything right now, because we're going to come back later and pickpocket a bunch of stuff from him. So, um, and we don't really need anything right now. I don't see him with anything that's really spectacular. And we're going to be getting a lot of good stuff, so you want to wait until we get our stuff and then figure out what you want to buy and what you want to pickpocket and whatnot. Next, let's go play hide and seek with the kids so that we can discover a secret place. You're too slow. Hey there. Back, evil ogre, or I'll get you with my sword. Okay, you got to play along with this little game. All right, Valiant Knight. Please don't slay me. I'll spare you this time, beast, but don't cross me again, ever. <laughs> You're really fun. Hey, I'm gonna hide somewhere in the cave, and you come find me. Okay. Ready? Set. Go. All right, need to follow. Him. He goes up here. Ollie, no, Ollie, oxen free. Yep. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me hide again. Ready. Set. Go. This time, boom, he disappears. You can find him on your own. I'll show you where he is. There's the entrance. Go to the right of the entrance. See this kind of like sandy slope here? Just go up there and you'll find him. would really 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 like you come on I'll introduce you okay. I know how to spell introduce it's how do you spell I -N -T -R -O -D -U -C -E. no it's not it's I N T R U D O O S <laughs> you must have not spent a lot of time on YouTube because you know you spell terrible <laughs> as in really well <laughs> Okay, onward. Hmm. My way is too small for you. You'll have to find another. Hope you brought a shovel. I've spotted something. Alright, now if you don't want to play hide and seek, if you have high enough wits, you can discover this on your own without having to play hide and seek. And once again, if you have some pumpkin soup, just eat some pumpkin soup and you'll discover that on your own. So if you want to do that faster, just do that. But, you know, save your pumpkin soup. And take out our human shovel with the Red Prince. Have him dig it up. The most noble among us must occasionally dirty their claws. And we have an ancient stone hatch. Everybody go down the hatch. And we earn 725 XP. Let's take a little look-see at what's going on here. Okay, so we need 1675 to get to level 3. 
Let's swing it on around here. Any loot? Here we go, loot. And it should be severe looting. Always. Reason being is because the Red Prince is carrying the ooze barrel, and that's pretty heavy. So, yeah, Spiel has a spare space, that's why I say that. Alright, now go up here. Ah, you're back! And you brought. But who is this? Wither, this is my new friend. She's really smart. You'll like her a lot. <laughs> Please, small child, leave me to my ruminations. But she's really nice and tall. Maybe she can even help you with that thing. And tall, I like that. A grown friend. You brought an adult here. Good, good gods. Can it be? Yes, it can be. Okay, so short step takes off. Bye bye now. Attaboy. Off you go. Adults talking here. Alright, let's talk to Withermore. What? what in the world are you? I am clearly an elf, you Can idiot. It be <laughs> Sorry. An elf? Oh I have been abominably rude. Please forgive me. I'm so very out of practice. It's been so long since I met another living soul. In my day, your kind were most mysterious. I'd heard only rumors. I'd never met an elf myself. Oh, I I've been a cad. It is so shameful for me to ask, but... Um, why are you trapped the down here? King, it was. Bracchus Rex by name. Bracchus Rex, okay. The Order of the Source Hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle, and I was sent to stop it. Yes, okay. my failure was absolute. I am not fit to bear the insignia of the Source Hunters any longer. Nah, that's Please, too bad. good lady, you must free me. Prize this spear from my chest, where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. Prize the spear from your chest. Yeah, let's go for this one. You're in luck. We delight in freeing trapped oh, creatures. Oh, bless you, good lady. Bless you. Seize the spear. End this degradation. I... Alright, now this is a strength challenge. You're going to meet a lot of these as you go through the game. Not always like pulling something out. Sometimes it's lifting stuff or whatever, or opening coffins and whatever. This is a spear. You won't be able to pull it out with your default strength. It's stuck fast. You need at least, I believe it's 12 strength. At any rate, I always just eat a meal. Another reason why you should make meals. Meals will give you 2 strength. So let's just eat a meal. Yum, yum, yum. Strength is up to 12. Now we pull on this and get it out. Good madam. You've set my body free. Free to crumble to dust at last. Oh. But my spirit, blast! I remain trapped in this mouldering skeleton yet. All right, what binds the you? Spell most terrible. I have heard of such magic, but have never known anyone so foul as to employ it. Bracchus Rex, may maggots lace his entrails. <laughs> Love it. May maggots lace his entrails. After he interred me in this cell, he must have drawn my very soul away from me and stored it elsewhere in the fort. Thus, he has bound me entirely to the mundane realm. But I know this place well. I could lead you to its likely location. In turn, you would find a path straight out of this fort. My freedom for yours. What say you? I say I'm up for the Marvelous, challenge. my friend. Marvelous. You'll first have and to get boom, inside the fort XP. There's a secret switch on a statue of the Seven in the courtyard. Surely you know it. Uh, can you show me? The switch will open a hatch, and you'll be led into the prison's main floor. I suspect that within Bracchus's phylactery room, you will find the container which ensnares my soul. He has likely disguised it well, but search there for another hidden switch. 
Bracus's phylactery room. Can we say that on TV? What? Oh, we can't? Okay, good. Just kidding. Uh, Bracus would have made me a supplicant, a slave to these walls. With your help, I'll die. At last. With dignity. Okay, how do you know where your soul is kept? I was fully briefed about this awful place before I came. My goal was to destroy the fiend who had been marshalling the world's most unwholesome weapons and magic into an army he intended to use against the realm. I never thought I would become one of his victims. And yet, here I am. But not that interesting. Alright, let's take our leave. Okay, so we're ruining up a lot of XP. Let's take, take a look here. We're only 475 XP away from level 3. Now, he has um, a piece of equipment on him called Withermer's Girdle. Uh, we can't pick back of that now because nobody has any thieving skills, but we are definitely going to come back for that later because that will give you an extra memory slot for your skills. Just by putting it on, you get an extra memory slot. Very valuable piece of equipment. You need Thievery 3 to be able to pickpocket it. What do you got here? Let's take the empty cup. And the cup of tea. Rubbish. Sorry, Withermer. And we looted all these guys, and let's get out of here. We're going to come back here later. And we're also going to do that Withermore's Soul Jar quest. Here, let's take a look at these. Magister Yero gave us a key to the fort. We're going to use that later. Withermore has promised to show us a way out of the fort if we help him break his bonds. By the way, there's like... I believe... At least half a dozen ways to escape Fort Choi. Um, some of them are kind of inter intertwined with one another, but like, there's all kinds of ways. A lot of them are worth um, a lot of XP if you follow them. So like, that's what I'm doing. Just like, here we go. Find Withermore's soul jar. We agreed to help Withermore. Switch on the courtyard statue leads to the phylactery room. <laughs> oh, oh. He said phylactery. Yeah, <laughs> phylactery. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> 59 going on 19. Here we go, so that's that. Let's go back back upstairs. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, all right? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.